Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and this video is going to be a little different because it's unscripted. And in this video, I'll be talking about my top five favorite TV series and movies from my DVD towers, uh, of which you cannot fully see. These were the same towers as one tower that nearly destroyed my laptop and uh, caved my head in. So I hope you enjoy, or at least find this video informative. But first, I'm going to move this table back, so you can get a better look at the tower. Okay, which one's number five? Ah yes, here it is. Number five is the Star Wars Original Trilogy. Here, have a look. I'll just bring this in and show you guys. Do I loved these as a kid, although I preferred the prequels, which are right here. They're number four. My favorite of the uh, Star Wars original trilogy would have to be Return of the Jedi. Why? The Battle of Endor, of course. That's why. I thought the first half of the film was a bit slow with... Fat Jabba the Slug, but the second half, much better. Star Wars, plus Vietnam, equals the Battle of Endor. <laughs> the other two movies were good, though. Now, on to number four. Number four is the Star Wars prequel trilogy. That's Jewel of the Fates, folks. Now, as a kid, I loved the prequel twi tw twilogy. <laughs> There's your blooper, folks. In an unscripted video, I'm surprised everything isn't a blooper. But as for number four, the Star Wars prequel trilogy, I loved these films as a kid especially Revenge of the Sith. Except for the ending, though. It, it made me cry as a, as a little kid. You know, all the Jedi getting killed, and Anakin turning into Vader, and Palpatine getting his way. Power! Unlimited power! <laughs> oh, that was funny. But yes, I did like the uh, Phantom Menace, which I, <laughs> which I once called the Phantom Menace by mistake in a video once, as well as Attack of the Clones, despite the fact it had terrible writing with Anakin. I don't like sand. It's too coarse and rough, and it gets everywhere. <laughs> George Lucas is a great director, but he's not really a great scriptwriter. All right, then, folks. What about number three? Well, number three would have to be Red Cliff. Where's it gone? Ah, there it is. Ooh. Oh, dear. Nearly knocked the computer over. Red Cliff is just under Star Trek Voyager, the seventh season, which is quite good. Here it is. I don't have any music for this, uh, for this uh, DVD, so here you go. Ta-da. Red Cliff. Based around the uh, Three Kingdoms novels. Great stories there. Red Cliff is a 2008 Chinese film depicting the Battle of Red Cliff between the forces of Cao Cao and the alliance of Liu Bei and, what was his name again? Sun Xuan. Q-U-A-N. But you uh, have to say it in the Chinese way. Now, I... I uh, I was about to say I played this film. <laughs> now, I watched this film, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and uh, I became aware of Red Cliff through the, Dyn the Dynasty Warriors game series, created by Koei, and uh, now run by Koei Tecmo. Fantastic games, except for Dynasty Warriors 9, which was a train wreck, I think we can all agree. But, uh, yeah, I'd recommend that film. And it's uh, number three. So now on to number two. And number two is a television series, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a television series that's been going on since the year of my birth, 1999. My birthday's in 11 days, as of the making of this video. 
And that TV series would have to be Family Guy, Season 1. Let's just, just get it here. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, it's going to collapse. Doctor Who should not collapse the towers. Although I do like Doctor Who too. Here it is. The original Family Guy television series. I bought it from CEX for a pound. That's how much of a cheapskate I am. I don't think I've made a video about Family Guy, but Family Guy, it, I think I did. Well, in any case, let me remind you again. Family Guy is an American animated television series and sitcom that began in 1999. And especially in the early seasons, ladies and gentlemen, I thoroughly enjoyed them. More recently, it's been a bit meh. But the early stuff, the hand-drawn stuff, marvelous. You should check it out if you haven't. And uh, it would always make me laugh, especially as a, as a young boy. <laughs> but now, on to number one. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, I have a confession to make. My most favorite film in my life so far, as of the making of this video in June 2022, is a Disney film. And that film is Treasure Planet. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, oh, there it is. I loved this film as a kid. One of my earliest memories is watching this film. Ooh, ooh. Don't want the tower collapsing again. Here it is. Walt Disney Classics Treasure Planet. One of the few Disney animated films to actually bomb at the box office. That's because they wanted it to bomb. Why? Because they don't want a story about a main character, a young man by the name of... Jim Hawkins, yes, I got it right, uh, being tutored by a pirate-turned-traitor uh, in uh, John... Is it Long John Silver? I think that's his name. Cyborg, yes. How he betrays his trust, and then they have to work together to get the... Uh, to get some of the gold and get out of that damn blowing up planet. I really enjoyed that film, though it's been a while since I uh, watched it. I mean, it, uh, it's number one mainly because of childhood memories. And it's a Walt Disney film. So, yeah. Disney has lost their way. And uh, that's the end of the video, folks. My top five favorite films and TV series. Oh, wait. I forgot to thank the person who suggested the topic of this video, Ian Ellis, LLC. Don't worry, though, Ian. I'll thank you in the title as well as in the thumbnail. As for everyone else, if you've made it this far, and I don't blame you for uh, leaving, <laughs> thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Until next time, folks. Bye for now. <laughs> I never believed this would be a one-take video.